Hello YouTube, I am I'm Vuitton or Tom and that's just one of you. But I am sorry for not uploading anything recently. Um two reasons. Number one, I've been kind of watching Carmen Rider double too much. I can't find any SH figure arts. Right, um yes. Um Second reason, I'm running out of Transformers. But don't worry, there's tons of other stuff. And uh, there aren't many Transformers I want at the moment. Um, the, I want the Shockwave of um, Full Cybertron. Full Cybertron Shockwave looks awesome. Um, other than that, I don't like Prime. Don't ask me why, I just don't like it. It Everything seems to be going along the movie route. Whereas, I like these. And, uh... But, I have discovered, next year, hopefully, I should be going to auto assembly. AA 2013, if it's still running, because I have heard that it might stop at some point, which I don't want it to. I'm not too sure, I've just found out that there is a possibility. Because I'm only 15. And you have. No, yeah, I'm 14. God, why, why? I'm 14. 15 June. But uh, hopefully, uh, it's after June, I think, so I'll be 16 next year and I'll be able to go over that an adult. Good. I don't drag my parents around. And be buying lots of things there. And Ray, you can try and get me into these forms, but there's only one that I like. And that is this guy. This specifically, this guy. This version, I don't really like this. That was my phone. Um so yes, today's review, after going on for two minutes about other stuff. Um This is Reveal the Shield uh, Turbo Tracks. Um, obviously it's tracks. That is, I think they lost the rights to it, something so called turn tracks. So I feel the shield, but you know, it's generations. Um, it's the classic stuff. It's on my classic shelf. Um, he looks like a really cool sports car. I see this, and I think rally car by the front. So a, I, I don't know why I just. I see Randy Carr and I see this, but you can see whatever you want. I don't actually think this is based on anything. This doesn't look like anything I've seen. Just, you know, the bits of Corvette in there and stuff. But this looks really cool. And that, although it isn't the original Firebird he had, it's, you know, it's it's, it's tribal, but it looks cool. And it, do, it, it is at least a throwback to it. Of course, the United version does come with it. But I prefer this. This seem, this works for me better than the United version. Um, obviously, I will show you a comparison between him and Will Jack the next review, which hopefully should be tomorrow. Um, I'll do all the comparison stuff tomorrow with Will Jack. So yes, here he is. The, the way it transforms, you sort of can see what you might think are seats in there, which is nice. You know, it's it's not built to be like that, but I think as a coincidence, you do sort of get seats in there. The translucent plastic works. For this one, I don't mind that the back windows aren't coloured because they seem to blend quite well. It's obviously it's blue, there's some yellow, red to break it up. The silver's really nice. And they have painted the stuff on the back. I'm really happy about because they didn't do it on um, Jazz. Oh, he does have a flight mode, which I've seen a lot of people that review this being complaining about. I think it's stupid. It is stupid. The original tracks had it. I don't have him, I will get him. I still haven't seen a... What is it, a Dinobot Island? Yep, I think Dinobot Island, just a... Oh, God. Um, yeah, they do pop off, but on that weird joint that just pops back on. But, yeah, um, I, I think it's Dinobot Island where Tracks just shows up. But I, I don't know, I haven't seen it. Oh, sorry, uh, the doors just kind of pop out down, out, and I'm not sure if you meant to, but I like to 
pull them out and then you just flick around the ends of the wings and you can have to do, you can do two things you can take these and clip them back on where they came from so they're above the door like that or you can come back here take this back flip around a little thing on the inside there well, it's hard it's hard to see even for me basically just flips around you can see that like that so there on the back close the car back up I would say uh, this guy I still think is quite cheap if you can find him um, I got this one from good power no I got this one from Asda oh no Yeah, I got this one from Asda. Um, Asda are actually really good for toys. Surprising. Um, when they have the toy that you want, they sell it for a ridiculously cheap price. Um, I got all of the Iron Man 2 figures, which are £8 each in Toys R Us, uh, for £9 for two in Asda. So, yeah. There's... Um, uh, they do occasionally have to it. Also, by the way, because you pull them out, you can tilt the wings back slightly, which I do. I think it makes them look a lot better. And then there's some holes down there. We'll just tab in the back. Also, uh, I like this clip system, although I don't. I don't really swap them around much, except for one, one case that I do, um, which I will show you, but not in this review. Now these things do go on, and I like them when they go on, they look quite cool. Right, they're not going on very well, the one on the right is having trouble, but you get one back, which is a... Uh, they miss up if you don't can't assess. You can miss down the backs, but I can't be bothered. Um, it's a throwback to tracks, which is good. So we take those off, put those inside. Now, you can leave the doors unfolded for this. Uh, you might as well get out the legs first. So no, wiggle them about a bit. Extend them. Twist them at the waist, and I'll leave it there for now. Actually, no, no. To get this properly so without breaking any pegs, you pull the front like that. So you sort of you break it and put it backwards, and then you push forwards. Because the tabs sort of are slightly curved or something, they don't like to work properly. And I'd leave the legs together. They, they sort of don't flip around as much. Next, we'll take the whole of this back section and fold it as far back as it possibly go. Uh, take the gun that's pegged in the middle out. Um, now you want to take the wings and if I get out of the way, they kind of click up from the joint on the middle. Next what you want to do is you want to pull the arms forward and then flick the wheels sort of 180 while pulling the arm down. That was a bit hard to show you, so I'll try again. And then obviously when it's like that you just want to mess around. So you want to pull the arm forward and then to the side while flipping that wheel forward and all the way to side and down. And just make sure the wheel is all the way forward and then just straighten up everything on the arm. Arms done. And now the legs you just split them. Now on the back you'll find in here there's that grey panel. You want to it out, which is quite difficult, there we go, 
and you want to peg those two bits at the end into two tiny little holes in the back of there they're really hard to see, you'll see them if you get the toy itself but it goes at a slightly odd angle and just pegs in like that and that's used number one to fit in the back but number two for those pegs for those holes anyway um, you can, you can flip that around if you want to but it's fine um, now it's not really head reveal because you can see it but I, do, I like this because the shoulders are really weird mate. you take the whole of this front section the top and you push it up you see it raises the head pushes the arms out and the chest up and now he is complete sort of now obviously he doesn't like to stand very well because the ball joints on here are quite loose but if you stand him on the back more he stands up quite well just want to make sure he's staying leaning backwards. Now on these, you just want to make sure that the fin is facing upwards. And those pegs, you can put them anywhere, obviously, but they're meant to go into some place. Take the pegs, and they go right. You do have a little bit of leeway of what you can do with them. So that's done. It's quite simple. You just fold that bit around, and then the handle, or you have a clip. I use the clip because I put this on wheel jack, and I'll show you that tomorrow. But that just goes in his hand. The clip was actually designed for wheel jack because his. I'll tell you tomorrow. Um, yeah. There he is. He looks really good. Um, I didn't do a size comparison to the other one, but well, I'll do that next one. Um, trusty Optimus Prime. You can see, he's slightly squat for a deluxe, but he's a good size, you know, he's not bad. He bulks up quite a bit. And also Optimus is a bit lanky. So, yeah, he's, he's good and he definitely shows G1. Now, I'll quickly go over the detail. Retaining the blue, but more yellow to break him up a bit, which is quite nice. The white, obviously. The red. Looks like good. The red face is good. I, li I like the face. Kind of like a knight's helmet. Um, I like the red little lines there. And I also, I'll say this now, but I prefer these legs over wheel jacks. I just think these are more like lengths. Yeah. Um. Although the feet are a bit. Yeah. No, all right. Um. I would say, although Will Jack and Tracks, I don't think have much to do with each other. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But they're really nice to have together. It's really nice to stand these two together because oh, they complement each other, the mould's really nice and it's a bit like having um, Sideswipe and uh, Sunstreaker together you know they are their brothers but the way that the same card with the same parts turns into something slightly different like the uh, the clones from G1 is really nice it, it's a variation with the same things it's, it's really good I think it's the only repaint I have with another one of the same. I have them standing next to each other because they look really good. But, yeah. That is uh, Real Shield uh, Turbo Tracks. He's really good. If you can find him and pick him up, he'll probably run you £15. It was about just under that new uh, when he came out. So, shouldn't be much more now. He hasn't been long. It was really good on the classic shelf. Looks really good in general. I don't know much about the character and I still bought the toy, so yeah, um, buy him. I'll be back tomorrow with Bill Jack. Uh yeah, thank you for watching.